continue to solve, girls, you need to focus with me. We're going to continue to solve these word problems. I would like for you to look at problem number two on the handout that I just passed out. Is there a volunteer that would read problem number two, please? During a football game, the parents of the football players sell pretzels and popcorn to raise money for new uniforms. They charge $2.50 for a bag of popcorn and $2 for pretzels. The parents collect $336 in sales during the game. They sell twice as many bags of popcorn as pretzels. How many bags of popcorn do they sell? How many pretzels do they sell? Okay. <clears throat> so these parents are, are trying to raise money. So they're selling bags of popcorn for $2.50 and pretzels for $2. The parents have collected $336 in sales during the game. They also tell us they sold twice as many bags of popcorn as pretzels. With that information, we can create a system of equation to figure out how many bags of popcorn they sold and how many pretzels they sold. So the first thing to do is define our variables. What are the two things we don't know? And you got it, bags of popcorn and pretzels. I'm going to use X and Y here. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to let X be the number of bags of popcorn. Please be specific when you're defining your variables. Don't just put popcorn, pretzels, because are you talking about the cost? You're talking about the number. I'm going to be specific when I'm grading, so I need you to be specific too when you're, when you're labeling. Why is it going to be the number of pretzels? Alright, so what do we know? <coughs> we know the price of the popcorn and pretzels, and we know how much money they brought in for the popcorn and pretzels, right? Okay, so let's start with the bag of popcorn. How much does each bag of popcorn cost? $2.50. So $2.50 per bag of popcorn. So $2.50x. Plus, how much is each pretzel? pretzel? $2.00. So $2.00 times the number of pretzels, Y. So $2.50x is how much money they're going to bring in in popcorn. 2 y is how much money they're going to bring in in pretzels. How much total money do they bring in? 336. 336. There's one of our equations. What else do we know? They sold twice as many bags of popcorn as pretzels. Twice as many bags of popcorn as pretzels. Come to the the side for a second. About this before we make our equation. What I've done is made a table. Popcorn and pretzels. Plus, this is talking about the number of bags of popcorn and the number of pretzels. So they sold twice as many bags of popcorn as pretzels. So let's say they only sold two pretzels. How many bags of popcorn did they sell? Let's say they sold ten pretzels. How many bags of popcorn did they sell? Twenty. We don't really know. I'm just kind of making up some numbers so we can think about this problem. Let's say they sold 30 pretzels. How many bags of popcorn did they sell? 60. 60. They sold twice as many bags of popcorn as pretzels, right? Okay. So we're trying to make an equation. In an equation, both sides have to be equal, correct? So, let's think of this way. What if they sold 100 bags of popcorn? How many pretzels did they sell? 50. Let's say they sold X bags of popcorn. We don't know what that X is. <coughs> we want to know how many pretzels, Y, they need to sell for it to be equal to the number of bag of popcorn. So let's say they sold 100 bags of popcorn.
we know that's twice the number of pretzels, correct? So if we take 2 times 50, that would give us the number of bags of popcorn, right? That's essentially what we're doing. We're taking 2 times the number of pretzels to give us our popcorn. That's as complicated as that equation is going to get. That's it. X equals 2y. So now you can solve. You can pick whatever method you want. However, I think one's going to be way easier than the other two in this case. What's the method I'm thinking? Substitution. I agree. I think substitution is a good uh, method to use. We've got x by itself. So let's just put 2y in for x in that first equation. Thank <laughs> you. 